Hello. Good morning, senpai. I heard from Risei-san that it seems nearly everyone earned their scooter licenses over the summer. You may be interested to know that I have acquired mine around the same time. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite a coincidence, isn't it? Why did you get yours? A detective often needs to be in many places at once. I thought it would be useful as a means of transportation. I am confident, I'm a competent cyclist. Should the opportunity arise, I'd be happy to show you how I handle a bike. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Ah, that awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? I decided to check the test results. Your score was in the top 10. Boo yeah! Wow, nice. Good going, Joshua. You're so smart. Your social link friends seem to be congratulating you. You feel that you became slightly closer to your school friends. Lunch break's almost over. You decide to return to class. You could have just thrown that away. This was my sister's handkerchief. My mom put it in my bag by mistake. No one ever uses it anymore, so... I'm sure the handkerchief is glad to have been able to, be, to fulfill its duty. Thank you. He expressed his gratitude. It was a big help. No, it's okay. Oh, I'm Naoki Konishi. Um, I apologize for saying I hated you when I first met you. I didn't mind. Thank God. Naoki looks relieved. You have become acquaintances with Saki Kanishi's younger brother, Naoki Konishi. Naoki is struggling to cope with this complicated situation. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Naoki. So, if you're wondering why it took so long to open this one up, it does require, I think, understanding. I can't remember which one it was. But, it also is one of those ones where, like, I didn't focus on it because I was doing other stuff, and I'm still probably not going to focus very much on it. I probably won't get it done in time for the end of the game. Last time, when I came to that meeting, I made everyone feel uneasy, right? After that, I was officially fired from the association. They told me not to come to meetings anymore. Well, it's my own fault. Left behind again. If it's okay with you, maybe we can have fun together. I'm usually by our liquor store at the beginning of the week. I'm helping out there. Well, I'll be going. Goodbye. You parted ways with Naoki and went home. Good morning. Morning, Joshua-san. This rain, I don't like it. No one has turned up missing yet, but it still makes me uneasy. Yo! Sorry to barge in. Yosuke forced himself under your umbrella. M make room for me, too. This one's already full, dumbass. Yet Naoto would make room under hers. It's quite all right. By all means, Kanji-kun. You'll catch a cold at this rate if you don't. What? Me and her under the same umbrella? To hell with that. If I did that, um, it'd mean we'd practically be like a couple. And that's a problem because... Dude, how old are you? Shut up. Come on, let's trade spots. You know how stupid that sounds, right? Well, it's fine with me. Nato, mind if I walk with you? Hey, who are you calling stupid? Stop talking shit about me. Uh, will you just make up your mind? Excuse me. 
Um, I don't mind making room for whoever. <laughs> I'm so doing it. I'm going down to myself. Huh? Huh? Y you? A third choice, eh? Not what I expected, but I have no objections. Ah, damn it. I don't need an umbrella and a damn drizzle like this. I'll show you all how it's done. Kanji can? Sheesh, that idiot's gonna make himself sick. Oh crap, we're gonna be late if we keep this nonsense up. Let's hurry it up. I could have made Kanji because that's really cute, but... Okina Station, Krakopur. I has dragged you here. Hey, why don't you pick out some clothes for me? What do you think I'd look good? What do you think I'd look good in? Oh boy. Go cute clothes. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I look best in cute outfits, don't I? I nods. Oh, I chan. Long time no see. Oh, you brought your boyfriend along? You two are such a regular lovebird, huh? Yeah, that's right. My boyfriend. We're real close. Isn't that right, Joshua? Yep. Oh, I'm so jealous. I looked relieved. Well, I've got some stylish new stuff and for a lucky lady like yourself. I'll take it. All of them. Just wrap it up. Yes, I'll do what I'll do that for you. If you'd like, I could show you some matching accessories. I'll buy those too. Shall I have them carried out for you to the bus station, right? No, it's fine. My boyfriend will take care of them for me. He's such a great guy, you know. Really? Well, I'll be just a sec then. Thank you again, I. Do you think I'm pretty? What's wrong? I guess quiet looking insecure. It seems you can't avoid the question. Hey. Do you think I'm pretty? Of course you are. That, that's right. It, it's only natural for you to think so, isn't it? I looks relieved. I had fun today. <laughs> it's good to be dating. Wouldn't you agree? I is forcing a smile. She does not want to be dating me. You feel your relationship with I deepen as she reveals a side of herself you've never seen before. I feel like I've seen all of those sides of I before, just never all mashed together at one time like that. What is with my face with my eyes closed like that? <laughs> I'm just like standing there with my eyes closed like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Why did I agree to this setup? What was I thinking? This is so not worth it. Let's go home. Not that I want to or anything. See you again. I guess we just leave all those clothes that she was going to pack for us. You returned to Innova with I, and walking her home, went home yourself. After walking her home, went home yourself. Yo, yo, Joshua. Hey, what kind of event did classes at your old school do during culture festivals? The school here in Innova has a bunch of different events for our culture culture festival. I guess this is one of the few school events that everybody actually looks forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I know, right? I hope it gets really interesting, especially for some events in particular. There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasagami High Pageant. Oh no. 
It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the culture festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names, of course I do. Yuki Kawamagi, Chie Satanaka, Rise Kuchikawa, Naoto Shiragane, Hanako Otani. It's a surprising lineup, Hanato. I don't, I'm not sure who that is. One, two, wow. There's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Rise Kuchikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. <laughs> oh my god, this is just really creepy. I'm like super creeped out right now. Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> Uh, is this how boys really are? Let me think for a second. All right, yeah, okay. It seems that each girl already has fans. Yo, are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. You were called out to the rooftop during lunch. Did something happen? You better have a damn good explanation for this! For what? The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? No, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? Well, because 98% of the time it is you, but I actually think this time it wasn't. I think this time it was the teacher. I think she, <clears throat> I think she wrote down everybody else's names because she wants to sh show off that she's so much better than her own students. I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that. With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. Oh my god, it was Yosuke? Yosuke, I have, like, no... <sighs> Yosuke, you're an idiot. That's all I can say. Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? That is a great question. Oh. Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, 
didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? Oh God, don't pull me in on this. Of course I do. Uh, I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys, but I guess you're not that uptight. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it too. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. So Ted's behind this too! Why am I not surprised? We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Oh, Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man! Oh god, you don't just say that to a girl! <laughs> oh god! I don't care what the context is, you do not say, just shout that at a girl! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I do care what the context is, and this context makes it worse. This makes it so much worse. You don't just shout to some girl. I don't care who the girl is. You don't just go up and shout, come on, make me a man. It's horrible. Oh my god. Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just... Just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <laughs> that was awful. The preparations for the cultural festival in two days are going well. Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct the short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? Uh, that's... kind of heavy awkward for a cultural festival at a school. <sighs> yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, wanna be the batter? <sighs> Uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. 
The group date cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. Oh no, I already know what this is going to be. This is going to be a male one, isn't it? And they wrote our names down now. You can see a headline in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasagami High Pageant. It seems that a cross... God damn it. It seems that a cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Cultural Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see, Yosuke Hanamura... ME?! Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! I knew it. I wonder if I had said not to do the festival, if I wouldn't be on there or not. Now I'm kind of curious. Joshua Jericho, that's your name, all right. Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? Hey man, I don't know why I got dragged in on it, but you totally deserve it. It's them. They must have done this. It seems that you'll have to enter the cross-dressing pageant at the cultural festival. good explanation for this for what for what my ass for signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant it was you wasn't it oh that thing Rise-chan started saying let's all have fun with this so I didn't really have a choice and Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it Little, this is cross dressing. Cross dressing. Well, you're the one who started it. It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right. That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! I'll give it my all. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. But there's no way she's gonna listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risei-chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? <laughs> I love Kanji. I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. 
There you go. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I don't know, man. I think just confidence is pretty manly. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji Kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? One that has two sides of the same tail, buddy. You totally deserve it. I don't... I don't care one way or other about me, but you absolutely deserve it. Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> I broke you and I'm trying to fix this. 